Your dog's heart health is directly related to their mouth health. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get your dog comfortable getting their teeth brushed. What you will need is a dog, a mat that you potentially take with you to the vet office. I highly recommend it. I'm just using a bath mat, but you want something that's comfortable for your dog. You're also going to need a stool or a chair, something to place your treats on, a container with tasty treats. These are our homemade cheesy uh, burger bites. You also are going to need some form of toothbrush, whether it's a child's toothbrush, a doggy toothbrush, a piece of gauze, or one of those finger toothbrushes. And you're going to need lots of patience. Our first step after we collected all of the things we need for our training is to teach our dog that the mat is a great place to be. This is a mat that I would, good boy, that I would bring with me to the vet office in addition to working on things at home. I want the dog to associate this is their mat that they get to make a choice if they're going to be handled. Panzer is not a huge fan of certain kinds of vet care. So we definitely have been working on this. This is not a dog who hasn't had any training, but he's still on his journey. So I want him to know that he has the choice to leave. If he leaves this mat, I'm not gonna hunt him down and try to brush his teeth or do any kind of um, you know, checking of ears and things like that. He does get very frustrated if you try to do that. So we want him to have a positive association. So that step one is just getting them comfortable on the mat. I'm just going to reward the dog. They can stand, sit, lay down, dance on it for the moment. Just create that positive association. And then I'm going to send him off periodically so he knows he has that choice. And you'll see, he'll think about it. <laughs> he says, I have other things I could do. Oh my goodness, you could bark. Do you want to get on your mat? Okay, I didn't realize. Good job. And I'm also going to try to reinforce him to be a certain way because it's going to be helpful for me in handling. Good boy. So next step is I'm going to set the food here. If you think, if you think your dog will grab it, you might want to put it higher or further away. This is similar to Vicki Ronchetti's, good job, um, her hand stacking technique, which is letting the dog pick to be there and then to see the food ahead and then they get rewarded for that. So that has been very helpful. <laughs> to have that method to use with him. Good boy. He says, I'd really like to have these treats. These are our homemade cheeseburger bites. I'll post the link down below. He is clearly a fan. Good boy. So I'm just gonna ask him if he can get on the mat. Good boy. And just do some basic handling, like touching him. Yes. And this way he stays pretty forward looking at the snacks. Good, and he can shoot, that was nice. He can choose to lay down if he chooses, if it's easier for him. Whoops, that was a little slow. And I'm using a verbal marker just because I can't hold a clicker and do the handling at the same time. Yes, if you're super um, able to do that, maybe put it in your armpit or on a foot or have someone else do it for you, awesome. But for me, yes, I'm just gonna use my verbal marker. So I'm just doing some introductory handling, saying, is it okay if I touch you here? Yes, and I'm giving him a moment or two. You might even start with less. You could even just hover over your dog if they're really worried about being handled, to say, you know what, nothing bad's gonna happen. You have choice. So because we're working on dental care, I also wanna teach my dog to put their chin in my hand. Yes, and he's already worked on this. So I'll have a separate video on how to teach this, but really it just, <laughs> it just starts with providing, yes, providing your hand and then they offer their chin. If they don't offer, you could lure it to start, but that's a skill that you wanna teach separately, yes. And you can see he really likes to do it. He is a little bossy right now. Yes, because <laughs> he knows what game we're playing. He also will offer a paw every now and then because he's been working on that as well. Good boy, very nice. I'm just looking for some calmness too. I just want him to have a good time. Good. So now I'm gonna wait for a little bit longer. Yes. You can see he's a little more relaxed. Yes, I know. He thought there might be a treat. I'll wait for the chin, good. A little wiggly, yes. But I'm always asking how he feels about it. And if he says he doesn't like it, I'll do my best to try to accommodate him. Good boy. Yes, so I'm breaking down the little bitty steps that he needs in order for me to open up his mouth and to put um, a toothbrush or something in there, even just a finger, good boy. Yes, and it's all very light pressure all about him feeling good about it. Good. 
So now I'm going to just touch around the muzzle. Yes. Good. Obviously, if your dog has bitten you in the past for this, go really, really slow. I don't know, maybe even work with a muzzle first. Yes. Good. So I'm just breaking it down. If you feel like your dog can go quicker through the steps, go for it. I'll show an, an example of Norby doing it a little bit faster because he's not as worried about handling. Yes, that was amazing. Great job. I'm going to give a couple cookies for that because that's a big deal for him to let me do that. And I'm going to send him off so he can reset. Good job. Very nice. So this is a very slow process at first. And you'll see they start wanting to play the game. He's kind of being demanding about how he wants to play the game. Needs a moment. Good. I can even go from under and just bring up the lips. Sometimes that's easier. Good boy. And if he flicks away, it's not the end of the world. He's doing a good job. Good. Yes. So that's the very beginning step, is just making sure the dog can get on a mat, feel comfortable, have your setup where they're not going to steal from you, offer that chin, and then just start some basic handling. Once your dog is ready and you've been able to open up their lips a little bit to show their bite, what you also want to be able to do is touch their teeth. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to touch his teeth a little bit. Yes. Good. So he gets that sensation. You could also do some massage around his mouth. Good job. To help him feel comfortable with hands in his mouth. Yes. There's lots of little receptors in there that can feel weird. So I want to be very mindful when I'm touching his teeth how that's going to go. I know. Good job. A little fussy. Good. Nice. Lift the lips. Touch a little bit. Yes. Good. Very nice. So I'm not going to go straight away into his mouth and start rubbing things in there and putting pastes in there or brushes. I'm going to give the dog a chance to just feel my finger in there um, and rub along the teeth. I want to just have little short increments and I'm going to reward him for each step along the way. So let me show you with a dog who's a little more in tune with his face being touched. Um, so you can see the next steps. Once your dog is okay with you handling their face, letting you look at their teeth, and maybe even gently rubbing your finger along their teeth, you are ready to take it to the next level. Now we're going to introduce additional things that might touch their mouth. Now if they're offended by you putting something near their face, I'll show you how to break it down, but you might be able to go straight away since you've done the pre-work and able to kind of brush their teeth a little bit. You could use a finger toothbrush. We can use a child's toothbrush. You want it nice and soft. You can ask your vet what they recommend. I know, he's excited about this. You could even use gauze or a damp paper towel. We're not really trying to you know, remove a ton of tartar. We're trying to be proactive and preventative. And then you can also have dog toothpaste. You want dog toothpaste, you don't want human toothpaste. It's very important that you get what your vet recommends. So let's see how Norby does. So we've got Norby. He's got his snack station. Good boy. Good. All right, so I'm going to hold. I'm going to just warm him up. It's always a good idea to go back a step when you're working your dog. If it's been a day or two or even a couple hours, just to remind them, hey, this is what we're going to do. Good job. Very nice. And you can see he's like, cool, it's happening. Does he love it? Maybe not, but he's enjoying himself. Did you get all the goodies? So even just for a vet exam, just to practice this at the vet, you, know, you can have a tech do it, you could do it, you can bring your mat, bring your whole setup so that the dog understands like, oh, that game, it happens everywhere. Yes, good. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Now I'm gonna try the paper towel first, just because it might be less offensive. So you could even rub it other places. Yes, it's a little cool. Good boy. So I'm going to rub it other places so it's not creepy. You can see he's getting a little stiff, a little concerned. Good job. We've worked a lot getting him ready for other types of vet care. Yes, he tends to get pretty serious. So know your dog. So I'm going to just lift his lips. I'm going to gently touch. I'm going to rub. Yep, good boy. He hears his brother in the other room destroying something. Are you ready? Good boy. So. Lips up, I'm just gonna rub, rub that canine, great job. Good, and he does have a little bit of buildup. He is going to have to start getting his teeth brushed and you wanna do this every day if you can, but hey, any amount you can do is gonna be helpful. Good job for waiting on mom. Good boy. So I'm gonna send him away so he can reset. 
give them a little break. You can even break and go play with your dog or do something different to kind of change the subject because this is kind of intense for dogs who aren't great with handling. Good boy, let you finish your treat, that's kind of rude. So I'm just rubbing very gently. Again, he has the choice to leave if he's like, this is not about what I want to do. Good boy. So I'm going to also introduce a toothbrush. Yes. And I'm going to let him explore it. If he explores it with his mouth, I'm going to, yes. <laughs> he put his mouth on it. That's great. Yes. Good. So I want him to have a lot of choice here. Yes. And if you've worked on touch with your dog, this is great because then they can, yes. They can put their mouth to it and they know it's a fun game. Yes, good. So him coming towards it is way better than me going towards him. All right, are you ready, kiddo? All right, so we're gonna try it. And you guys could name this. So you can call it Chin, you can call it, oh, show me your bite. Can you come over here? Good job. Yep, sit. Good. Nice, I'm gonna bring it close. Oh, he's like, this is weird. Yes, and I'm just barely touching and then giving him a reward. You could even put something tasty on here, like a little bit of butter or, um, <laughs> or peanut butter, something that, that the dog might like. You ready? Yes, so barely even touching. I'm really not doing a huge brushing. When you brush your dog's teeth, you only need to do the outside. You don't need to get all up in their grill. Good boy. Let's try again. Good, and now I got a little brushing in, and less is always more. So if this was not for video, I might just take a break and go do something else. I want little small bits, good boy, little small bits so that the dog feels successful and then they can go think about it. They can have that latent learning. The final thing I'm going to do with him, good boy, is I'm going to let him smell, oh, easy, let him smell, yes, the toothpaste. Good job. Yes. And I'll put some links down below of things you might want to talk to your vet about. Yes, for different products. Good. So he's coming right to it. I'm going to put just a dab on my finger. Oh, good job. And then if he wants to lick it, oh, he can. And they make dog flavored toothpaste that's supposed to taste like, you know, meats and things and peanut butters. So find what your dog likes. Don't buy a giant tube of it. They have some mint ones. I They find them offensive myself, but, oh, he says he likes this one. So <laughs> this is definitely an enzymatic toothpaste, and it tastes like poultry, so that's fun. Good boy, you're doing great. And then once we're fully ready, you guys are going to put a little bit of toothpaste on your gauze, your paper towels, your finger toothbrush, or your actual toothbrush. We'll put a tiny bit on. I know, are you ready? He also did, so he said no. We always want to listen to them if they say no. Good boy, can you come back over here? Right here, sit, good. Oh, yes, good. <laughs> He's like, oh, I didn't know I get to lick it. Good, very nice. All right, ready? Wait. Do it so the camera can see. There you go, good. So you didn't love it, but it's a good start. So I'll keep working with him um, a little bit each day if you can. Do your best. Your best is always enough. And if you have any questions about how your dog can learn how to brush their teeth, get their nails done, any of those basic needs, let me know how we can help you. We offer virtual coaching to anywhere in the world and we can help you with these skills. So check out our link down below so you can sign up to schedule a time to talk to us on the internet. Thanks so much for watching.